Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So uh, this will be the fourth video today. There, it's it's kind of weird out there today. There's so this weird. really weird vibe right now. It feels very weird, and a lot of people picking up on it too. Yeah. So we did this Patreon exclusive, and uh, the title says it all. There is one unified synagogue of Satan. All the rest is just, again, apparent division. Well, it is division, but there's unity when it comes to the real power structure. Um, and there's some things in there that um, we got some interesting comments on and people saying, wow, I never heard that or realized that before. Uh, definitely a fun one. Okay, over here we see emergency meeting with the White House has been conducted as Biden is allegedly gravely ill. Multiple sources have, have been saying this now all of a sudden, out of the blue. Um, you even have uh, Congress people saying, show me Biden. Show me Biden. How do we know he's still alive? This rumor is really getting rampant. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, what do we do with this? This is really interesting, curious information. I had someone uh, send me a text a little bit ago, and they said, I... I, I think there might be fireworks going off. We'll have to see. And, and it, I mean, just ev everywhere from the, the weather to how people are feeling for how people are having breakthroughs to other people feeling horrible. It's just off today. It's interesting. It is. It, it's, it's, it's a pregnant pause today. It, yeah. it, there's a weird feel here. Um, so the FAA has issued a no-fly zone over Delaware. That is really interesting interesting and curious many people made note of the flag at the capitol building flying half half mast now uh sheila jackson representative sheila jackson did pass on so that could be that um but yeah it's just weird it's just very weird a ton of money has uh shown up and gone into the kamala harris for president coffers uh, it seems like there's actually a, a rally going on behind her. Uh, so, you know, it's it's really interesting to, to watch all this develop. Curious times. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. Now, in case you haven't noticed, Europe's fertility crisis, which European countries having the fewest babies, Europe as a whole, Japan as well, and the United States, if it wasn't for migration, we would have big population declines going on uh, in Japan, in the United States, and also in the EU for the most part. So it, it's interesting that for the first time since 1960, the number of live births in the EU has fallen below 4 million. It's one of the lowest fertility rates in the world. So what's really even more interesting to note, it's not included in this particular study, is the fact that some of the African nations, which have had like skyrocketing birth rates, are even showing signs of leveling off and, and not uh, ascending anymore. And even India, which has passed China, for the most populous nation in the world, is even now expected to find their population leveling off and then, you know, at some point in the not too distant future, decline. China is really facing a population crisis itself because so many of its citizens are in their 60s. And so, you know, for so long you had that one child per family thing going on. Basically, what you have right now is a depopulation of the planet going on and you know of course we can all talk about the reasons uh you know I, and i'm i'm already expecting that this video will probably only be on youtube for a day <laughs> but you know you guys can confer what you want to confer from this and then we'll speak more plainly on on patreon um, but I know you guys uh, get what we're putting down there. U.S. fertility rate drops to another historic low. So, yes, uh, it, it would be a case where population would be declining drastically if it was not for this big, huge shuffle going on it, with all the migration from one place to another. 
as you see, the U.S. healthcare system ranks last among 11 countries. Um, as far as affordability, uh, we get very little in the U.S. for our money. In fact, again, there's a lot of foods and things used in, in the production uh, and distribution of food, which are outlawed in other countries, but they're perfectly okay in the U.S., and this, this shows you something about the system. Now, the mainstream media called this sheriff a liar for stating that the U.N., replacement migration program is handing out free cell phones plane tickets and cash even though he had the receipts yeah they've called us liars uh, when it came to uh, chemtrails and now it's just you know with geoengineering now it's it's documented it's all over the place and still they'll put the little wiki up and still they'll remove videos how dare you remove videos that are truly being uh, upheld from other sources you can see what's going on and yet at the same time it feels like they're getting more bold about this they are they're getting more bold and more aggressive the un does have replacement migration uh <laughs> population division program as you see uh this this is a document from all the way back in march of 2000 and it puts the question out there, replacement migration, is it a solution to declining and aging populations? So this, this document, 177 pages, is, is all about that. So, you know, to say that there was never any thought about using migration to replace certain populations is, is just a fallacy. And yet, there's so many things out there that people have been screaming about for decades yeah, we could start listing. I was thinking about doing a top 100 list. What? Yeah, we could c definitely cover 100 CONS piracy theories that have been proven true. It's not that hard. There's so many of them out there from, you know, just saying, you know, you might not want to put that cell phone up to your head because it might cause a tumor. Yeah, there's studies that show that. I mean, it, we could go on and on. And... It, it's just this realization of all this that really should be hitting people hard to the point where, you know, why, why are these institutions, why do they exist? Why do they really exist? Because they really haven't done a lot of good for the world. If you have declining uh, populations, you've got declining fertility rates, declining uh, life expectancy, you got everything that you would hope technology would make better going in the opposite direction then to me it's just abject failure on on the on the structure of the groups out there the people that are manning these think tanks doing these uh studies they're all worthless basically they're you know they're 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 definitely not w earning their salaries, to say the least, is public funded salaries. Oh, by the way, um, they did, they made an accounting error, and so Ukraine's like received another 6.8 billion that they weren't supposed to receive. Well, you know, again, Zelensky, his wife. I mean, she's shopping at Tiffany's. They're buying vehicles that most people can't afford, and vacation homes. This is your public money in action. I, you know, it is frustrating because what can you do about it? And, you know, we could do another video on the top 500 ingredients that are in things that you put in your body, on your body, wash your hair with, you know, clean your face with, and, and it's all toxins. So, I mean, anyone who thinks that the control system might have a good part to it, I, I don't know. You know, you really have to work hard to not bathe yourself in toxins these days and then it's expensive if you're trying to be clean so somebody's got to be in charge of that and all i see is those that are in charge are just not uh helping anything at all no matter what side you look at you know when i, when I look at that sheriff that's that's somebody that is probably working very very hard for his living and is you know he's probably an honest person um so it, it's not it's not you know all people at all levels and this is the thing to realize you know uh as you got Stu peters here the real question is how long has joe biden been dead 
Well, you know, the answer that that we have is, um, you know, since before he was elected at, as president, I do think it was a was it a niece that came out, I think, and said something like she made the statement that, oh, yeah, he, he died shortly after Bo died. That that felt right. Cindy was looking, you know, remote viewing and, and getting that that is actually the case. And so, you know, all along they've been fomenting this lie, but it's one lie after another after another. And we can see that what it does is it pads the pockets of the select elite that leech off of the rest of society. Well, the lie gets so big it props itself up. It does. It does. You know, so you, you just you, you just got to look at everything very, very cynically. And I don't think we could trust anything in the system. So, again, it's up to the more brilliant minds out there than myself to devise some alternatives. Uh, what could we do besides just simple barter and trade uh, to create viable alternatives to a system that is so corrupt it's beyond fixing? Indeed. As always, guys, we appreciate you being part of this family. Please do share your thoughts, your comments. What would you do to uh, create a new system? Or do you believe this system could truly be fixed? I look forward to your comments. This puppy is looking forward to a, a little bit more balance in his life. He's a cutie. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.